Good morning, everyone. It's probably been a minute since you've seen me last. Um, and the explanation for that is I have been on a trip. Now, currently, I am in northwestern Alabama, uh, getting ready to spend the day looking for some really cool milk snakes that live up here. So I'm not too far from home right now, but after this, I am heading to Arkansas, where I'll spend the day tomorrow looking for milk snakes there. And then after that, I'm heading to Oklahoma and Kansas to look for milk snakes for a couple of days. This is something that I've really been looking forward to doing. Uh, obviously, it's going to have to be a little bit abbreviated, and a lot is going to be inconvenienced by the whole C-word ordeal, and I'm going to have to be careful, obviously. Uh, I've been in quarantine for like two weeks, hardly interacting, like hardly leaving the house other than to go out to look for snakes and obviously emergency grocery runs and things like that. So things have definitely been a little weird and it's going to make for a weird trip. But anyways, I'm not going to do too much explaining for this part of the video because I'm hopefully going to be finding some snakes here pretty soon. So I will check in with you guys when that happens. Hopefully it does. Well, that's an unexpected first find of the trip. There's a baby black king snake sitting right there under this rock. So it's not the Lampropeltis I was hoping to see, <laughs> and it's actually one that kind of surprises me to see in this habitat. I'm kind of just in this open forested uh, hillside right now. Uh, definitely pretty good milk snake habitat. Pretty good king snake habitat too now that I think about it, but I was not expecting that. I was expecting like some ringnecks or something first, <laughs> but that'll do. First snake of the trip. Beautiful little baby black king snake. Only my second one from this region, actually, where I got my life for Black King Snake crossing the road back in like 2012. Check that out. Awesome, awesome, awesome start. I'm going to photograph this guy real quick. That is ridiculously cute. <laughs> this is one of the tiniest king snakes I think I've ever seen. Pretty belly, too. Look at that orange coloration. Well, while this guy is really cute, and he is a king snake, he's not exactly what I'm looking for, so I'm gonna put him back under his rock and keep flipping, see if I can turn up a milk snake. You can see how many bands this guy has when compared to a baby eastern king snake, in addition to the fact that he's about half the size. Well, there he goes. I'm guessing he'll figure his way back under the rock. Alrighty, let's see what we can turn up. A little look at the habitat I'm in right now. It's all super nice looking, but there is so much rock. It's almost like there's too much. I'm shaking. There it is. First milk of the trip. Oh my God, I gotta grab him real quick. That's in situ. This thing is shedding in my hand. Oh my God. Look at that. Unreal looking. Holy balls. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Keep on crawling out of it, buddy. <laughs> that is so ridiculously nice. What a snake. Ow! Thanks, bro. I just, I am in disbelief about this snake. This is a strong contender for the nicest milk snake I've ever found. We got a lot of rain last night across the southeast, and I think that is a big part of why this guy was sitting right there in shed, getting ready to shed. I picked him up and his skin started coming off. That's my favorite, because you get to see them right when they are fresh out. Oh my God, that is just unreal. Look at that, look at the red head, look at the coloration. It's just perfect in every way. Absolutely perfect milk snake right there does not get much better this is the first stop of the trip i mean i'm an hour out of the car i've got like six more states to look for milks in in the next couple days look at that absolutely unreal unreal beautiful red milk snake i just i don't even know what to say about this it's it speaks for itself that NC2 was awesome. He was under that rock right there. I walked up from below. I was coming up and I could kind of I couldn't really see underneath it. Had I looked like that, you might could have seen him in the crack, but I was standing above it like this and I just kind of peeled it up and there he was. Oh my god.
goodness gracious. Uh, this habitat's awesome too. I've been coming to this spot for years and this is actually the first one I've flipped under a rock here. I've seen a lot out at night and I've seen a lot in cracks, but this is the first one I've actually flipped. Well, I have my photos, I've got my video, and I'm so incredibly happy to have turned up this snake at the first stop. A uh, huge weight off my back for today at least. Uh, these guys can really be a, a, a tremendous pain in the ass to find, as anybody who's spent time looking for milks in Alabama knows, or at least red milk snakes. Easterns are pretty common, but just what a snake. Uh, absolutely, I'm unbelievably lucky to have come across this guy so fast, I believe, but uh, I'm going to hope that that's not the case and hope that they're really just, it's perfect weather today. And I'm going to continue to work this hillside and hopefully I can turn something else up. The only two snakes of the day so far have been Lampropeltis. And that, <laughs> that is unbelievable. I'm going to put this guy back. All right, guys, the time has come for me to put this insane snake back in his little rock crack. So let's see if he'll figure out where he's at if I put his head over here. There we go. Go on, buddy. That is amazing. Let's see what else I can turn up. Haven't hit any of this yet, but I'm liking the looks of it, so I'm gonna try to record whilst I do it. This can be kind of tough around when I'm flipping rocks, though because of how heavy they are. Now you have to be careful when you're putting them back. But you put them back right, which can be tougher to do on camera like that. This one right here looks very similar to the one the milk snake is under. Not this time. Well, it's not a snake, but check out this monster slimy salamander. Oh my God, he's huge. Awesome. I've seen a couple of these today, but this is the first one I've actually been able to get a little bit of footage of. They've been shooting down holes the second I flip them. Well, since I got a milk relatively fast, I think I'm just going to dedicate the rest of the day to exploring this area before I head off to Mississippi and Arkansas this afternoon. Uh, I think I'm kind of going to skip Mississippi this trip, unfortunately. Um, I have more information for Arkansas, and I think I'd do better there. So I'm going to hit that tomorrow, most likely, and then... Hopefully I'll get enough content today for Alabama Day to be a whole video, so. Changed up my strategy a little bit. I'm walking in here looking for salamanders real quick. Couldn't resist poking my nose in this little overhang here, seeing if there were any green salamanders. Uh, it does not look like there's much of anything hanging out in this one though, but it is pretty. Dude, the butterflies are going nuts. Look at this. Holy crap. This is amazing. I've never seen this many in one spot like this. Holy crap. That is amazing. Oh man, this looks promising. This is a spot I found on Google Earth. A lot of flat rocks in the open, hoping they're not too hot. Look at this though, incredible looking. Big ones like that should still be fine. Yeah, nice and cool underneath. That is a cool triple flip. Two cave salamanders and a slimy under a rock. That is amazing. All right guys, I am back on the road. It was an incredible day here in Northwestern Alabama. Um, we only found two snakes, but they were both, you know, target species, black king snake, and of course that insane red milk snake. I just can't believe that snake. Absolutely incredible start to the trip. Um, but anyways, I'm going to do some driving, you know, get some miles behind me, and if I see anything that's enticing to stop and hurt between here and where I'm planning, I'm just planning on spending night in Arkansas, so, um, I'm going to just head that direction, and if I see anything enticing between here and there, I'll stop and herp, and hopefully I'll be able to turn up a couple more things for the end of the video, but if not, I might see you guys in Arkansas.
in a second, so. This is exactly what I meant when I said something enticing. A beautiful road cut with rocks to flip. I'm gonna hit this for a bit. It's a little bit warm for sure, but I'm hoping there'll be some bigger rocks here that'll be insulating some nice cool spots for some snakes to be hanging out, so. It's like I'm in West Texas again. There's a board. Hello from Arkansas. I found a board. Let's see. Ugh, it's super rotten. Dang it, this is gonna suck. There we go. Nothing. Fire ants of all things. Ah, beautiful Arkansas. We've got a nasty ditch here, and in the nasty ditch is uh turtles doing the nasty. Check it out. A pair of uh, common musk turtles right here trying to get it on. My first herps in Arkansas ever. Well I don't know if I'm going to be able to turn up much here but that's an interesting observation nonetheless. I'm just going to leave those two at it and see if I can find anything else. <laughs> 